Hi guys, I am super excited to be going over this week's new releases today. So this week is the Seashell Collection, which is brand new to my shop. I feel like it's been a while since I've done a brand new collection instead of just a reformat. Um, technically, I did a couple fall bundle exclusives, which were brand new, but this is the first time in quite some time doing a full collection so i'm very excited about it this was kind of a simple one so it was kind of easier to do than a well than the next collection which we'll see but um yeah i just really love the simplicity of this one and i just think it's really cute and i'm happy with a lot of the sheets um and the art that i used so um, yeah, so this is a seashell collection. I already do have the beach collection, which has been freshly reformatted for this year, so that can go with a lot of beachy summery kits, but the seashell collection um, will obviously be just another one you can choose from if you have a beach kit that you want to use this for, especially if there's seashells featured in the art, um, but if not, then this will just add some in, so... I'm glad to be able to provide another option for you guys because the summer art this year was really amazing. So let's go over the quarter sheets first, starting with the underlays. As usual, we have our four. We have the large underlays. These are the busiest ones. So if you have really busy day by day where you use lots of boxes and labels like I do, um, this might be the best choice because you will, you will be able to see more of the design from underneath all of the boxes. And as usual, at the end, I will show you how they look laid down with uh, labels over them. But here's the busy pattern. And then we have the medium, which is a more sparse version of that. A lot less busy and then the two fun ones this one is one of my favorite underlays of all time this one i think is just shells is what it is called in the shop and then this one is another one that i just super love this is the shell sweater pattern which i use the same sweater underlay pattern as i did for the valentine's day collection but instead of hearts i just did the little scallop seashells and it just looks so gorgeous this reminds me of like maybe a wallpaper that you would find in like a little beachside cottage lakeside cottage something like that but i just i love these like sweater patterns and i feel like i might pull this like basic pattern into a lot of other collections i'm trying to like find like basic patterns that i can kind of customize for each collection for like various parts of it um not only just to like make it easier when I can't think of new ideas, just to like have more to work with, but honestly just because they are tried and true and I think they look so good. So like you'll notice with like the simple line washi underlay design, or not underlay, um, simple line washi overlay design and like this sweater pattern for the underlays. I'm going to try to like go back to my older collections and like pull out more stuff like that. So if you have any ideas for other things that I can like redesign for newer collections, let me know because I just, it's, it's just really fun. And it's also kind of like a collect them all sort of situation. If you want to mix, you know, hearts and seashells, you can do that now for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, I just think that's super fun. So next we have the confetti overlays, which I really love as well. Um, so this is the full version. We have several of the seashells in here. I love all the like outline looks of these. And this is the full. So we have all four corners and all four sides filled up with designs. And then we have the medium four corners, which is just the corners. And then as usual, we have the medium three corners and medium two corners, which if they're is clip art in one of the corners that you don't want to cover up, which I find happens quite often. There's like a really detailed, like something in the corner um, that has like text on it or just like really fine details that I don't want to cover up at all. That's when I'll go for one of these. So there's that. And then of course we have the smaller pattern, which I love providing you guys just so many overlay options, just so whatever you need, you have it. Um, so here's the small compared to the medium. It is quite a bit smaller, so it covers up even less of the clip art, which I love going for the more subtle designs. If I am pulling a themed washi or not washi themed confetti, because I don't always use the themed confetti. Sometimes I'll just use just normal basic confetti. Um, but if I am using one of these, I'll typically go for like the smaller, less obtrusive designs. Like here's the medium three corner or not medium, the small three corner and the small two corner, just because I really don't want it to take away from the clip art, even if it is like themed, 
to match the clip art. I try to be really careful about that. So that's why there's so many options of these. And then we have a couple double box scene overlay options. We have the confetti as always. And then I just wanted to do like a little sandy beach scenario for um, this alternative one. Sometimes I'll put stuff up here. Like I could have done um, like seagulls or suns. Um, which honestly, if you want something like that, go to the beach collection because there is like an entire beach scene for the bottom double box scene overlay. Um, so if you are looking for that, it is there already in my shop, but this one, I really just wanted it to be focused on the sand and the seashells, um, to be like nice and subtle again. And also because sometimes I really just like putting garlands up here at the top. So I don't want anything else like in the way if I just want to use a garland because honestly, I'm obsessed with using garlands in the double box scenes, which you can look at like any of my previous plan with me's, you will come across them. But yeah, I just wanted to keep it kind of subtle. And then of course you have the full cover one if you need that. Honestly, secret, not really a secret if you've watched my videos, sometimes I do garlands with the top one too. I just can't get enough of those garlands. All right. Um, and then we have the big box overlays. As usual, these come in two sizes um, and I kind of give a description in the listing description of like which one is best for which kits um but yeah the taller one will work with pretty much everything you can cut it down and the smaller one works with i think paper candy art mainly um but yeah so this is the like confetti big box we have some flags at the bottom as well just to take up that space i do typically um make these confettis bigger than the medium ones right here so it is a bit bigger as you can see um, and then my favorite one is the border one. And sometimes I will occasionally do this thing where I like add some confetti into the opposite corner. So I usually do a design here and here, and then sometimes I'll add extra like confetti elements. So I add a little starfish and I am in love with it. I just love whenever I do that. I think I did that for the wizard collection and I think one other that I can't remember, but yes, I should do this for full box overlays instead of just big box overlays. I don't know why I don't do that. Tell me why I don't do that. Cause I am slack a lacking. Okay, so then we have the tall box overlays, which again, two standard most common sizes of tall box. So we have the Crest Press, no, Crest Press, um, SBC, Apple Boston Prints, most shops, I think Pink Diamond Planner Co. are the super tall one, and the short one is Glam Planner. And because I'm still obsessed with Glam Planner kits, and so are a lot of you, I do still provide both of these on the same sheet. Maybe one day in the future, I will provide them separately. But right now they're just both on the same sheet. And honestly, if you're using only one of them, you can cut the other one and use it as like a full box overlay if you want as well. Or just cut them out individually and use them as corners. And there's flags on this page. Like honestly, stickers are pretty versatile. Y'all know that. Then we have the full box overlays. I tried not to make this too much like the beach one. Um, I love this one where we have just the seashells at the bottom of the border. Like I don't think I've done that design before or that arrangement so I really love that um, and then we have just the classic like snail shell on that border and then these were two designs that I didn't use for the beach ones but if you want other like scene overlays like this go to the beach collection again there's like a whole page of like four more I think but these were the ones that I didn't use so I really love this one it's a nice simple like circle design I think that's supposed to be like the sun on the water and then this one is um just like palm trees and a little beach umbrella in the corner so there's plenty of options on there, whatever you need. And then we have the quotes, which I love this because once again, I pulled out this particular font, which usually I don't use this one. I think I've used it on like one or two other collections. I think I used it for the uh, fall collection last year. Um, but yeah, I just felt like it really worked with the kind of sandy beach theme. I don't know why it just worked well with that. So we have that mixed in with the regular cursive one that I like to do. So we have two full cover and then two um, more subtle ones. I usually do one in the middle and one on the bottom, just so whatever you need, you have an option to work with that. And then these are great for like pattern full boxes, but yeah, we have some quotes. We have seashells wash up on the shore, like smiles from the sea. We have call me on my shell, which I just think is hilarious along with shell. Yeah. <laughs> and then this one is a handful of shells and a head full of dreams. 
So we have that, and then while we're here, let's go ahead and hop into the quote sampler, which I always like to do. Sometimes I'll do it on a smaller sheet if I don't really have enough to fill, to fill a bigger sheet. Um, so we just have the same four quotes, but they are floating quotes. You can put them anywhere in the full box. If you want that towards the bottom, if you want this in the middle or the top, you can go ahead and do that. Um, and then I had room to include an, an extra one. So this one is one that goes up the side. Sorry, I just flung the sheet. Um, but yeah, I just did sand and sea, which I thought was like really subtle and simple and is going to look really cute up the side of a quote box or of a full box. So there's the quote sampler. Actually put that aside so I don't go through that again. And then lastly, for quarter sheets, we have the um, line border sampler, which is fairly new to collections, starting a few collections ago. But yeah, I just love these so much. Um, you know, I love the line borders in general, but the themed ones just like kick it up a notch. So here we have the half box ones. Um, we have the third box. We have the quarter box and then the square box. They're all pretty simple. Um, this one is always the same. These are meant for Swirl Prince Co. boxes, but you will find that some of them fit over boxes from other shops. Cannot say the same about this because this is specifically meant to go over Swirl Prints Co. movie marquees and it fits perfectly and I love it. And you all seem to love it too. Um, this is another one that goes on the inside of the movie marquee, but this could potentially fit other size boxes. And then we have the fancy label one. So that is the line up border sampler. And uh, if you do like to use these, I or if you like to go crazy with them like I do in my Plymouth Me's, I recommend at least two sheets of those. All right, so next we have these smaller sheets, the eighth and a sixth sheets. So let's start with the headers. So we have the like snail shell headers. I love me some snails, so I use a lot of snail shells in this collection, as you can tell. This one's my personal favorite though. This is the like scallop headers. I think I called them like scallop shell. It'll be obvious in my listing, but yeah, this is just so gorgeous. I feel like I might just use only this one, but honestly, I love all of them, including the confetti one. Um, and then we have the whole reinforcers as well. I know there's a lot of starfish in here, even though technically it's a seashell collection and not a starfish collection, but I had to throw in something else that works. And honestly, you find the starfish among the seashells a lot, so it kind of is in the same geography. All right, so now the six sheets, we have the corners. So we have some medium corners that are cut out, um, smaller ones, which I will confess, these are not the exact same size as the small ones from like the full sheet. I kind of just size these down manually on this page. I don't like copy them over from the other one because I'm lazy. So they're slightly smaller than this one. I don't think they're as small as the other ones, but these ones are even tinier for sure because I do make these from scratch. So these are the most subtle. And then we have the photo corners, which I guess technically are the most subtle. And then we have dividers. So here I am doing that thing again where I'm like stealing a design from other sheets and like making them themed. So these dividers were actually from the decorative dividers sheet from the basics collection. I just like erased the middle circle and replace it with the shell, which I like it anyway, so happy for that. Um, and then we have just some shells and then this little scallops and dots. And then these are the line ones down here. This sheet is available on clear glossy and premium matte. So if you're using like really busy underlays, I would get the premium matte version so that you can see that white border around the dividers and actually be able to see it. But if you're using these over fancy labels or like half boxes like I do, then get the clear glossy. Then we have the deco, which I love this sheet because I've just crammed so much deco on here. We have the larger at the bottom, medium, small, small confetti, and then teeny tiny and tiny confetti. So whatever size deco you need, you will have it. And then we have the dangles. We have the medium or the long dangles, the medium ones, and then the tiny ones, and then the tiny little swoops, and then some garlands. And then we have the full size swoops that go across the entire page. We have one, two, three, or one, two, three, four designs of those. They're mirrored, and then the rest of the space is filled in with the smaller ones. And then we have a whole page of just the mini swoops. Which I love these as well. 
And then of course this coach she is also in the same size of sheets, but we already went over that. Next, let's go over the washi. So 32 millimeter, I kept it simple. I didn't want to do like a whole beach scene necessarily because I don't think I'm that creative. So I just did some shells in the corners, which I think are really cute. And they do kind of like frame whatever washi you're going to use. Just keeping it subtle. And then we have some larger deco on this sheet, which again, I try to make it kind of unique to this sheet. So these are not on the actual deco sheet. Um, and then for the 15 millimeter, we have um, just like the basic one. Which I think I'm going to start calling basic in my shop because I think it used to be like the solid on or the solid washi pattern, but that does not make any sense. So I'm just going to, or like, I think I might just do shells. Like I'll just call it shells. And then this one will be fancy shells because they are much fancier shells with a fancier design. So this is more outliney and this is more of a solid shell design. So whatever you need, you will have. And then I just had to do a waves one because for some reason I didn't do anything like this for the beach collection. So I'm bringing it out for the seashell collection. Um, I already had the wave dividers but I just turned it into an entire like washi overlay, which love the subtlety of it. Just obsessed. So there's that one. And then the simple line I did bring back. So we just have the little seashell in there, some deco. And also, um, I do have a simple line washi that you can get that does not have any icon in that spot and there are some dividers on that sheet that also have spaces but no icons so that you can mix and match with other collections like little deco pieces because there is definitely deco that's going to fit in that space um so yeah if i don't have like a sheet like this for whatever collection you want it for just grab some deco from that sheet and layer it over the like blank one and you can create this design which i personally think is super cool so there's that, and then if you're using a Glam Cleaner kit, you're going to want to grab a 15mm and the 10 and 7 sheet. So it has a little scallop pattern, and then the confetti from the headers. And then two Glam Planner size flag overlays as well. Um, and then of course there is just the confetti sheet. A lot of people like to pair these specifically, which I think it does make sense actually. I used to be like... I didn't want to go with a fun design, but these kind of are fun designs. So there you go. I wonder what's going to happen when she like stops doing the triplicated bottom washi. Like that entire sheet is going to have to disappear from my shop too. It's going to be so sad. All right. Lastly, not lastly, but lastly for this collection, we have the bundle. Um, what's the usual disclaimers that I say? Okay. So for bundles, they are available in a mini or an ultimate size. The mini does not have underlays. So, um, you can grab that if you want to grab underlays for another collection or another shop, or just if you don't use underlays. Um, and then the ultimate, you can choose your underlays from the ones that are available in the collection. Um, these bundles are available unfoiled or foiled in any of the 46 foiled colors available in shop. Um, they are also available as a printable with either just the large underlays or all of the underlays for different price points. Um, and then the entire collection is also available as a printable as well. Um, and there is an optional add-on sheet for both the mini and the ultimate, which I will show you in a second. So the first page is the confetti full box overlays. We have two full, two medium four, or two full to medium four corner, two medium two corner, and then the double box scene. And then next you get your two underlay pages, which these are just the large for example purposes. The next page has your headers. There's 26 total, so there's nine of this design, nine of this one, and eight of this two from the quotes sheet and then the entire deco sheet and then we have the washi page so i do choose this one um if you leave it in the notes that you want a different one i will typically accommodate that if i remember which i usually do most of the time if you want to switch this out for another one just let me know and then we have the confetti and then some dividers a little deco date dots we can banner and then here's the optional add-on sheet so we have two from the full box page uh, to medium three corner we have some swoops we have the entire corners sheet and then we have one full set of whole reinforcers so that is the add-on okay so that's basically it for the seashell collection which will be available in shop tomorrow um 
while we're here let's go ahead and show you those underlays with boxes layered over them so this is the shells one and I followed this in gold just because I thought gold would look really pretty with seashells that's just the vibe I was thinking and that is the large just so pretty man I don't even want to cover this up I don't know how people do it I'm sure there's other people like me who would just like hate covering up their underlays. That's why people do so many photos of like just the base. I never take photos of just the base because I'm a horrible person, but I do use lots of square boxes so that you can always see the underlays. All right, and then there's the medium and then there's the shell sweater, which, oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with these two. Okay, so let's go crazy. Hmm. Okay, we'll cover up that one, and that one, and then we'll do this over here, Something like that. Grab a third box. That one, and I think we have a little thing here. So yeah, if you use lots of labels, then the large might be the vibe for you. And then, yeah, let's do this one. And this will just all kinds of color schemes going on here. So yeah, this one you're not going to see very much, but that might be what you want. So there are some options for that. With these, I definitely would use the like square boxes or just otherwise shorter boxes so you can see that pattern. This, don't feel guilty about covering up. This one, if you're buying it, you don't want to see it anyway, so do whatever you like. I mean, I'm not telling you how to live your planner life, but those would be my official recommendations. Okay, so that's that, and then let's go over some other miscellaneous releases from last week that I just, like, I never, I just throw these up randomly, I never, like, remember to film them before I throw them up, so I actually printed them out first, so we're going to go over them, these were all requests, I do randomly do requests sometimes, if you request it, most likely I will do it, so, um, we finally have a terrazzo pattern, which, about time, ignore all the black spots, like, in this entire video, if you saw any black spots, these will not be on the final product, but yeah, it's so pretty. Like, why did I not have this before? I don't know. But here they are. Terrazzo underlays. I am going to add an underlays section to shop. I, I already have everything tagged as underlays. I just haven't added it to the menu. So by the time you see this video, it's probably going to be there. Um, like under the shop menu, you'll see it probably in the side section. And then we have supernatural underlays. Customer was using a really old supernatural kit and wanted these. So... Here they are. If you also have that really old Supernatural kit, go ahead and grab these. Um, I have not seen Supernatural, so I don't know what this symbol means, but apparently it's like the symbol from the show. Um, and then one of my regular customers requested these wax melt underlays, obviously, to go with the new wax lover kit from SBC, which I did pick up, so I was happy to make these knowing that I would also use them. So yeah, we have like little snap bars and then we have like wax warmers and then I just put hearts as the confetti because I thought that was super cute. I am a wax lover, so that's why there's hearts in there because I love it. So that's super fun. And then I had a customer who requested like Firefly Deco where like the little butt was like solid so that it would look like the Firefly's butt was actually lit up like an actual Firefly. So I had to oblige and... I basically designed this like myself so if they don't look that much like fireflies I apologize that's because it was really hard to make them look semi-realistic but also cute and like not like a gross bug that I wouldn't want in my planner but rather like a cute little bug that I do want but also that doesn't look like a bumblebee so this was what I came up with so this is a semblance of a firefly so we have just the plain firefly we have like the little light up marks and then we have just a little confetti by the butt so we have like the big size, the medium size, 
and then the teeny weeny signs and then the bottom half is just all of the little flying trails so several versions of that and several directions super cute so if you're using like an outdoorsy kit um then you can grab some firefly deco to sprinkle around all right and that is basically it for this video so thank you so much for watching if you want to like comment subscribe and share that would be amazing and i will see you in my next video ciao ciao